Exodus 34, and if we could drop the screen this morning, I think Swiler gave me the secret to running this PowerPoint. We'll see. I have been pointing at this box, and Swiler said, point back at one of the windows. And so I'm going to try it this morning. Hopefully, I'll have a little bit more success with running the PowerPoint. We are dealing with the subject of the Bible uh, and really specifically a defense of the King James Bible. Um, lots of versions out there today. And in our doctrinal statement, you'll find under the Bible the doctrine of inspiration. God breathed the words of Scripture, the doctrine of inerrancy, the Bible's without error, the doctrine of infallibility, it's incapable of having error, and the doctrine of preservation, meaning that we believe that we have the preserved Word of God in the English language, in the King James Bible. Um, that's an important uh, teaching. It's an important doctrine. It's foundational to having authority in your life. If you don't believe that we have a Bible that is inspired and errant, infallible and preserved, then we don't have anything that's authoritative. We have nothing to stand on. Um, if we don't believe those things about the Bible, then how can we promote a gospel in the Bible if the Bible's got air somewhere? And if it hasn't been preserved for us, and if it's not the Word of God, then how can we look to it for anything for our lives? And so uh, the doctrine of the Bible is really uh, very foundational uh, to what we believe. Exodus chapter 34, verse 27 says this, And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou, <clears throat> I'm shooting for the back, I'm shooting for the back. <laughs> 